There are many additional features and functions within Trimble Connect. We won't cover all of them here, but we will demonstrate some of the most commonly used features in this section. Search the Trimble Connect help documentation if you need additional guidance. A view in Trimble Connect is a snapshot of a model or drawing that you want to save. Views can be saved individually or in view groups. Click on Views under the Data tab in the left panel and all of the saved views will appear in the main screen. You may have to scroll down to see them all. You can select from 3D and 2D views. You can search and filter by various criteria using the drop-downs. Select a view and summary information will appear in the right panel. You can edit the information and share and or add a to-do as well as add a comment to the view. To open the view full screen, click on the name or click on the view button. Clicking on the name or on the view button will open the view full screen in the 3D model viewer, displaying other views on the left. In this view you can see an annotation, which is probably why the view was saved in the first place. The 3D model viewer is active. You can use your mouse to zoom, pan, and rotate the model as needed, and perhaps you'll want to add an annotation of your own. And if so, you can save the view. Click back to return to the Trimble Connect main page. Releases are used to send versions of files privately to users who are part of a project. You can create and manage releases in the Trimble Connect browser on the Releases page. Releases have two states, draft and sent. If a release is in draft state, it can still be edited. After a release has been sent, it will be locked and not editable. Click on the Releases tab under the Data section in the left panel. All the releases you created or that have been shared with you will be listed in the main panel. Select a release and its information will appear in the right panel. You can send a release from the expansion menu on the release line or using the Send button in the right panel. To create a new release, click on the New button in the upper right. The new release window will open where you can give it a name, a due date, and select one or more recipients. Add a note if appropriate. And after reviewing your entries and selections, click Save. Although you cannot add files directly from the releases page, you can select files using Trimble Connect Explorer and then add them to an existing release or create a new release. Note that only individual files and not folders from within Trimble Connect can be sent via releases. In this example, you will drill down in Trimble Connect Explorer to select an application for payment document and send it for review using releases. You must first locate and select the file or files that you want to include in the release. Click on the Explorer tab and open Project Site Documents. From the subfolder, open Applications for Payments Documents and then open up an Application for Payment folder. From within the folder, select the document that you want to be part of the release. The item details will load in the right panel where you can click the expansion menu icon and select Add to Release. The Add to Release window will open where you have the option of adding it to an existing release or in this case, select Create New Release. Give the new release a name and select a due date, both of which are required. Enter and select a recipient, also required, then add a note, which is optional. When you have reviewed your entries and selections, click Send, 
or you can click Save to create a draft that can be sent later. Similar to the History function found elsewhere in Project Site, you can click on the Activity tab to see all activity on your Trimble Connect account, defaulting to the most recent first. You can sort and filter the activities using the drop-downs in the header. If they appear in any of the records, and if you have the role and permissions to view the file, you can click on the active links to open that record in Trimble Connect or Project Site. Finally, you can download the activity register to an Excel file if desired, although no upload is available. As previewed earlier in this lesson, to-dos are a helpful tool to assign, track, and resolve issues within a model. To-dos can be assigned to a user or a group with a due date for when the to-do needs to be resolved. Authoring tools such as Tecla Structures and Revit can export BCFs for issue and task management, which can then be imported to Trimble Connect as a to-do. The to-do can then be assigned and prioritized. To access to-dos, click on the to-dos tab in the left panel which will load all of the to-dos on your project in the main panel, defaulting to the most recent first. You can sort and filter your to-dos using any of the attribute drop-downs. Click on a to-do and its information will open in the right panel, and you'll have to scroll down to see it all. You can add a comment or export the to-do in BCF or Excel format. Click on the Model pane to open the to-do in the Model Viewer. Back on the To-Do's main page, in theory you could click on the New button in the upper right to create a new to-do. However, you could not link the to-do to a 3D model using this method. It is much easier to open the 3D model, locate the area where the to-do is needed, and create the to-do from within the model. After opening your 3D model, isolate and select the component to which you want to link the to-do. From the pop-out menu below, click on the link icon and select Add To-Do from the expansion menu. This will open the new to-do panel on the right with multiple entry fields. First, enter a title, and a description for the to-do. Set a due date and set a priority if you want it to be something other than normal, which is the default. Then assign the to-do to individuals or groups who will be responsible for it. Select a type and add tags if necessary to help in searches. After reviewing your entries and selections, click Save to create the to-do. Note that other project site records can be linked from this page. In fact, items such as specifications, RFIs, and submittals are frequently linked with to-dos and models to point directly where the question or issue is located on the project. Returning to the Trimble Connect main page, you can click on to-dos and see the newly created to-do in the register. Click on the to-do line and its details will open in the right panel. You can edit the details, for instance, updating the status if a response or comment has been entered. Also note that when creating the to-do, a new view has been created and attached to the to-do. Clicking on the attachment or on the image in the upper panel will open the model view where it is marked with a checked box icon. Seeing the comment, the author or other user with permissions can mark the to-do as closed. The Trimble Connect team utility will allow you to manage project users and groups, create new groups, and assign roles and permissions to users. Note that these roles and permissions pertain only to Trimble Connect and do not affect the portfolio or project roles and permissions set in Project Site. 
Click on the Team tab in the left panel to open the Team main page displaying project team members. Click on a group in the Groups panel and it will display the members of that group. You can create a new group if you want. And then add people to the group by typing all or part of their names into the entry field and then selecting from the search results. Note that they must already be project members to join the group and they will be added with a default role of user. Here you can also add people to the project by entering a valid email address and then designating their role, either user or admin. They will receive an email invitation to join the project. If you need to change permissions or remove a user from the group, first select the group, then select the user, which will open their details in the right panel. Click on the Role drop-down to select the role if you have the permissions to do that. You can also remove the user from the group by using the Remove button at the bottom of the panel. Please see the explanation of roles and permissions in the eLearning lesson.